We're back on Outside today, and as I so subtly mentioned before the break, we're about to reveal the winners of the Outside Magazine Ski Test. And here to help us do that is executive editor Sam Moulton. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, as you saw earlier, you know, we're really serious about our ski test. We spent four days at Snowbird, Utah, bunch of testers, 90 skis, and one thing became clear at the end, for sure. You have a winner. And it's, it's here someplace. <laughs> I'm just dying to know which one is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Yeah, <laughs> this year's Gear of the Year winning ski was the Rosignol Super 7, the one right in the middle. All right, look at this bad boy. And what makes this so special? Well, uh, the cool thing about it is a powder ski, obviously, you can see it's got, you know, super fat, it's got a lot of rocker, it's got a crazy shape, but you should not be intimidated because the reason it was the winner is because our intermediate skiers loved it as much as our expert skiers. Everyone who took this thing out in soft snow was their favorite ski. Yeah, it looks like an elf shoe. Yeah, yeah, but it's so much fun in powder. Uh, and the other cool thing Rosignol did this year is they added a sheet of metal, okay? And so that makes it a little bit damper and it makes it perform better on groomed runs. So. While it's primarily a powder ski, it's also, you can ski it on, on harder snow as well. And what about your all-mountain ski? Yeah, our favorite all-mountain ski is right there. It's the Atomic Theory, and this is just a really fun ski. And this is for the guy that skis 50% groomed runs, 50% mm -hmm. other stuff, trees, bumps, whatever. Really easy to ski. It's got a classic twin tip shape, a little bit of rocker, really easy to get in and out of turns. Uh, and the other great thing about it, it's only like 500 bucks at REI. It's a great oh, price on the ski. That's perfect. Love yeah. that. And how about that guy over there? This is the Blizzard Cochise, yep. and this was our favorite big mountain ski. And big mountain is what? It's Again. for that guy that's primarily looking for powder. So right. he's almost always out in the soft snow. He only skis the groom run really to get back to the lift. Um, and like a lot of big mountain skis, the Cochise is rockered. But what's different about it is most rockered skis are built and then they're bent. Mm -hmm. They bend the shape into the ski. But the Cochise essentially is built upside down. They call it flip core technology. And they put the wood in upside down essentially so when they build the ski, the curve comes in naturally during the construction process. So it's kind of techy, yeah. but it makes the ski feel really damp, really silky, really, really cool ski. And no other ski companies doing that? No, no. just Blizzard. And yeah. you know, that's what I mean really like about what you guys are doing because you're really putting in all the hard work. I mean, you're testing all these skis and you're finding which ones are the best for different ski condition. It makes it so much easier for, you know, someone like myself who walk into a ski shop and Definitely. just not know where to look or what to do or how much to pay for these things. Yeah, I mean, one of the things we want to start is just like, what kind of ski do I need? Do I need a front, uh, front side ski? Do I need an all mountain ski? So we're going to try to help you figure out first what type of ski you want and then within that category, figure out which kind of ski is going to be best for you, the conditions, all that stuff. Because yeah, it can be, it's overwhelming and yeah. it's a big purchase. It is. And as a reader, I mean, it's a great service you're providing. So what about this guy? Yeah, this is the Rossignol Adventure 82 Ti and this is our favorite front side or carving ski. And uh, so this is the guy that skis almost exclusively on groomed runs. Right. And uh, the big thing with this ski is it's really versatile. So a lot of carving skis, they like to either make big long turns uh -huh. or they prefer to make these little short little turns. But this thing, it does it all. It's like a classic Rosignol too. Really damp, big sweet spot, fun to ski. It's not going to buck you around. I love the way you talk about these. <laughs> I really like get excited about language. <laughs> and this one kind of doesn't look like the rest of them, but what is this? It's like a water ski or something. Yeah, it actually was, in, <laughs> yeah, it was inspired by a water ski. And this is a really cool ski. It's the Solomon BBR. And uh, it kind of defies categorization because they say it's a powder ski, it's also an all mountain ski. And we were a little bit skeptical, but it actually does really perform really well all over the mountain. Nice. Yeah, as you can see, it's got that fat tip, so yep. it's got really good flotation in powder. It's got a lot of shape and side cut, so it's fun, really easy to turn. Uh, just, yeah, our expert skiers want a little bit more tail to finish the turns, but our intermediate, advanced skiers, everyone really liked this. Fun and ski. which one of these are you going to be like stealing and taking mm. home after this show? I think the Cochise. Yeah. Yeah. That's that the one. My favorite. Yeah, yeah, I love this thing. So fun. All right. Well, if it's missing, I'll know who to talk to. <laughs> well, thanks for stopping by. And once again, you know, you guys are doing an incredible job with this. Thanks. When we come back, we'll get in shape for a mountain climb and we'll journey to Vermont's iconic Stowe Resort.